my friend Ed in America asked me if I could make a video about my square version guitar. So here it is. It started off just as a mahogany box that had a lid and was designed to carry scientific instruments. I took the rim off the box and glued the lid down, but I knew I wanted to make an instrument, but I didn't know what I wanted to make at the time to put it to one side. Then one day I was driving past the skip, or a dumpster as you call it in America, and I saw a guitar sticking out, so I grabbed it, and it was a, a um, Tanglewood Odyssey, which is a cheap ovation copy. It's the ovation headstock squarevation written down it now I um, cobbled it together with the box and I used a hinge out of a hardware shop which you can see just lurking under the strap there um, I put it in a vise and hammered it flat to get rid of all the lateral um, slack in the hinge and now you can adjust the, the action by putting an allen key in this little hole in the back and turning it and you can angle the net appropriately. I put all the um, tanglewood parts, the, the bridge and the pickup in, and the electrics and cut a sound port in the side because it seems silly to me to cut a hole in the top having such a small sound top where all the vibration was happening so I put one in the side and a few decorative holes here and I played that at um, open mics for a few years, I suppose. And then, um, with the success of the pickups that I made for the Les Pew, I built one for this, which is just on a wooden former. Um, has neodymium magnets, which you're not supposed to use, but I've never had a problem with them. Um, it's got only 350 turns of wire on it, which then have to go for a little. Um, mic uh, matching transformer which is tiny it's just taped onto the wire inside this control then matches it for the impedance of the output of the um, under bridge well, the under bridge is also on and off which is quite handy I believe things plugged in then it comes out that's the mix but also um, that's just the magnetic pickup on its own so you can run stereo into a desk for recording um, you've got your three-way selector and if you get it in the middle you get a much more natural sound I feel anyway from what started life as just a, a bit of a toy has ended up my favorite guitar I think um, I never wanted to build it like a sort of C6 Steve blues guitar. I, because I had all the under bridge um, pickup and everything, I wanted to see if I could get it to sound like uh, a regular acoustic guitar. And I think I've got pretty close to it. And uh, it's always the guitar I pick up to write songs on. So thanks for watching the video anyway.